Hola means hello. This video is about essential Spanish words and phrases, mostly phrases that every beginner Spanish language learners need to know. For the first few words, I will be going pretty fast. That's because most people know them. They are easy and I have already talked about them in various bonus sections of my previous videos. After that, I will try to go as slow as possible. You can repeat after me for practice. Now, before I continue, the pronunciations of the Spanish vowels. I am talking about this at first because they are very easy. The pronunciations of Spanish vowels are only one. One vowel always has one pronunciation. It's not like English language where one vowel has five different types of pronunciations. For example, A will always be pronounced as A. E will always be pronounced as A. I will always be pronounced as E. O will always be pronounced as O. U is U. A, A, E, O, U. Let's go. Buenos dias means good morning. Buenas noches means good night. Buenas tardes means good afternoon. If you concentrate on the pronunciation of the vowels, you can see U, buenas, U is U. E is A, buenas, tardes. And A is A always, nas, par. Moving on, C is yes. No is no. Por favor means please. Gracias means thank you. Lo siento means I'm sorry. Adios means goodbye. Now, the next few words, in my opinion, are the most important ones because if you can say them and you can understand the response, you can stop speaking Spanish anytime you want to with anyone. From now on, I will start going slower. First, puedes hablar inglés means can you speak English? So, if the person can speak English, they are going to say sí or if they cannot, they are going to say no. Puedes hablar inglés. Puedes hablar inglés. This is a pretty complicated one. The easier one would be habla inglés. It just means do you speak English? The responses will be C. Si, hablo inglés or No. No hablo inglés. Yes, I speak English. No, I don't speak English. But another answer can be C. Si, hablo un poco. It means Yes, I speak a little. They speak a little bit of English. So, you have to communicate like that. Now, the person might not be able to properly speak English, but they might understand English and they can answer to your questions in gestures. So, you can ask them, Entiende Inglés? Meaning, do you understand English? Entiendes Inglés? Do you understand English? Entiendes Inglés? Entiendes Inglés? 
you might get the answer entiendo inglés meaning i understand english entiendo inglés or the answer can be no entiendo inglés meaning I don't understand English. No entiendo inglés. You might want to visit somewhere. In that case, you can say Me gustaría visitar. It means I would like to visit. After this phrase, you can say the name of the place you would like to visit. I would like to visit this city or that city. Me Gustaria visitar. Or you can say Necesito ir a. It means I need to go to. Necesito ir. Necesito ir al baño. Who knows, there might be any emergency situation. You might need to go to the bathroom. You need to say, Necesito ir al baño. I need to go to the bathroom. Necesito ir al baño. Al baño. Or you might want to go to the parque. Meaning, park. Parque or the hotel. Yes, the pronunciation, the Spanish pronunciation is hotel. This is the spelling and the English word is hotel. The Spanish pronunciation is hotel. Or God forbid, you might need to go to the hospital. Same case, it means hospital. Necesito ir al hospital. I need to go to the hospital. O hospital. Necesito ir a casa. I need to go to home. Necesito ir a casa. Another phrase, very important phrase. Donde está? Meaning, where is? You can use necesito ir. That would say you need to go to that place. Or you can just ask, where is that place? Donde esta? Donde esta el baño? Where is the bathroom? Donde esta el baño? Donde esta el baño? Now, if you ask these questions to someone and if they start speaking very fast to explain to you how to go to a place, you might need to say to them, habla despacio, meaning speak slowly, habla despacio. Aquí means here aquí ahora means now ahora luego means later luego hasta luego means see you later hasta Luego. Or if you want to see them tomorrow, you can say hasta mañana. It means see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. You can also say hasta pronto, meaning see you soon. Hasta pronto. Now I would like to talk about the days of the weeks, the Spanish word for the days of the weeks. First, 
lunes means monday lunes martes means tuesday martes martes if you have been paying attention you can see that the pronunciation of the vowels are constant martes same in the next one miércoles miércoles meaning wednesday miércoles then jueves thursday jueves friday is viernes viernes after that we have sábado sábado it means saturday sábado and the last day of the week domingo meaning sunday domingo domingo el día means day la semana means week la semana el fin de semana el fin de semana means weekend el fin de semana el fin de semana ayer means yesterday ayer ayer qué hora es means what time is it is it show time qué hora es qué hora es mi nombre es means my name is whatever your name is you say after mi nombre es mi nombre es my name is mi nombre es nombre es cuál es su nombre means what is your name cuál es su nombre cuál es su nombre cuál es su nombre tengo hambre means i'm hungry tengo hambre tengo hambre tengo sed means i'm thirsty tengo sed tengo sed donde vives means where do you live donde vives donde vives me puedes ayudar means can you help me you might need someone's help you need to say me puedes ayudar can you help me me puedes ayudar you can also say necesito ayuda means i need help necesito ayuda ayuda necesito ayuda so i think you can figure out that ayuda literally means help but 
Just screaming out ayuda is not actually calling for help in Spanish. That would be ayudame. In Spanish, that would be help me. Ayudame. 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 You know what? Even if someone screams ayuda in the middle of the road, I think people would know what that means. But help me means ayudame. Como estás means how are you? Como estás? Como estás? Donde estás means where are you? Donde estás? Donde estás? Quien eres tú? Quien eres tú? Means who are you? Quien eres tú? Quien eres tú? Who are you? ¿Qué pasó? Means what happened? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? What happened? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Means what are you doing, hermanos? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora? Means, what are you doing now? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora? And now, the numbers 0 to 10. 0 means 0. 0 is 0. 0. You all know 1, 2, 3 from Pitbull, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 5. 5 is 5. 6 is 6. 6. 7 is 7. 7. 8 is 8. 8 9 is 9 9 10 is 10 10 Now the numbered positions First second third fourth fifth you get the deal First means primero 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 means first. Second is segundo. 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 Third is tercero. Tercero. Fourth is cuarto. Cuarto. Pay attention here. It's not cuatro. Four is cuatro. Fourth is cuarto. Fifth is quinto. Quinto. Sixth is sexto. Seventh is séptimo. Séptimo. Eighth is octavo. Octavo. Ninth is noveno. Noveno. Tenth is decimo. Decimo. This word does not mean final. It's a Spanish word. The pronunciation is final. 
I is pronounced as E and A is pronounced as A. Final. It means end. So, this would be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Espero means I hope. Espero. 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 Aprender means learn. Aprender. Aprender. Nuevo means new. Nuevo. So, this is the end of this video. I hope you learned something new today.